So this is a special interview as it marks the public announcement of the new director of the King's Brazil Institute, Dr. Vinicius de Cavalho. Vinicius will be taking over from the outgoing director, Professor Anthony Pereira. And so we thought it fitting to bring Anthony and Vinicius together to discuss the Brazil Institute, both its past and its plans for the future. First of all, congratulations, Vinicius. Of course, you've been based at the King's Brazil Institute for some time now, and it must be great to be appointed the director. Uh, Anthony, you have been the director of the Institute for 10 years, from 2010 to 2020. When you were involved in establishing the Brazil Institute, what was the objective and what did you want the Brazil Institute to bring to Kings? Well, I wasn't really present at the very creation of the Brazil Institute. That was something that took place in 2008, 2009 by the then VP International Keith Hoggart. But I was hired before it really, you know, came into being. So I know a little bit about the background. And I think partly one of the things that actually stimulated the creation of the Brazil Institute was the fact that the Oxford Center for Brazilian Studies, which had been led by Professor Leslie Bethel for about 10 years, that that, that closed. Um, that closed in uh, 2007. And there was some real interest in London, given that that, that center, which had been a kind of you know, been a focal point for visitors from Brazil and events on Brazil for a long time, um, for about 10 years at the University of Oxford. Uh, and there was some real interest in, in thinking, what, couldn't we do something like this in London? And so, you know, the VP International took that forward. I was interviewed. I ended up getting the position. And when I first got to Kings in 2010, I would go around to meeting people and say, hi, I'm the director of the Brazil Institute. And people say, what's that? Well, what is that? We've never heard of that. <laughs> but the, um, the idea at the time, it's a little bit different from the idea of the Brazil Institute now. The idea at the time was to create some global institutes that wouldn't be conventional academic departments or units, but would be part of the international strategy and would try to get kings away from uh, a focus that was purely at the time seen as UK, Europe, North America, but not really... Uh, you know, not really including parts of the world like Latin America or, or Africa or parts of Asia that, that really should be included given increasing multilateralism, increasing uh, globalization and sort of the growth of the, the non-West, if you like, or the non-core countries. And so, um, so there, was a, there was a period from 2011 to 2014 where we had this kind of first iteration of the Brazil Institute. And, and Vinicius came in into, and helped us uh, adapt to the new model, which is very much um, where we're in a we're in a school of global affairs, and we're we're like in ways in terms of our teaching and our supervision, um, but we still have this sort of outward facing mission, which is to do events and to raise awareness of Brazil outside of the university. And of course, Vinicius has been a key part of that with the with his orchestra, with his with the cultural events that he's organized, and you know his his connections to uh, the Brazilian community outside of the university as well as inside the university. Mm. Fantastic. So, Anthony, would you be willing to share some of your personal highlights as your time as the as the, as the director of the King's Brazil Institute? Well, it's hard to pick. It's hard to select because you know there are different aspects of the universe of the of the institute and they all sort of are important to us but i do remember one of the things that Vinicius did when he first came in um was that he linked up with survival international and we had um uh an indigenous uh a member of indigenous community in, in western brazil western central brazil who came and, and spoke uh to the institute and that was really important because we you know we had people like John Hemming, British people who had been to, uh, you know, indigenous settlements and who knew something about indigenous Brazil. But here was someone from uh, indigenous Brazil who was coming and, and engaging directly with us. And I think that was a really, um, that was a great uh, uh, thing that we were able to put on. We, we've had, for example, we've had visitors, short-term visitors from Brazil who may never have gotten the chance to be in London, uh, if not for our connections with them. And they've and they've improved their English, they've given presentations in English, their horizons have widened, you know, they've got all these contacts. And, you know, it's it's great to see young people um, 
just sort of open up to the world like that and get so excited about uh, meeting new people and doing things. Uh, so we've been able to be a, a bridge. I think that's the metaphor we sometimes use. We've been able to build a bridge, bring people across, bring people the other way, get them together. We also had an extraordinary event around about 2013 when we had the uh, president of the Supreme Court, a guy called Joaquin Barbosa. Uh, and he was very, very well known in Brazil at the time because there was a big trial going on in which politicians were being tried for corruption. And uh, we just had this extraordinary event with Joaquin Barbosa coming and people kind of coming up to him afterwards on the stage and, and wanting to take selfies with him, uh, you know, in the Safra. And I remember Rick Trainer, the principal at the time, was just kind of overawed. He just, he'd just never seen someone treated with that degree of reverence. And that was just a coincidence, really. It was just the sort of Com the, the 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 man in the moment, you know, the the, the sort of um, particular moment that, that that Brazil was in that drew all those people to go to see him. Um, but there there have been many great occasions, and I am a bit nostalgic now because we're not, you know, we're not meeting in person anymore. But I'm sure I'm sure as soon as we will be meeting in person again, there'll be there'll be similar events to that. And and you know, we've got online at the moment, so yeah, certainly sounds like some events worth celebrating and remembering. Um, and of course, Anthony, you'll also continue to work with the Brazil Institute. Uh, you have a new book coming out shortly. Uh, what are your plans for the coming weeks and months? Yes, well, you'll probably see me on social media promoting the book. I mean, it's 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 funny for such a short book. It took me a long time. So <laughs> so I hope I'll get more efficient over the years. But it's a, it's a sort of introductory text. It's part of a it's part of the very short introduction series that Oxford University Press does. And it's an attempt to to sort of give my view of, of modern Brazil, kind of float over the history, but also talk about contemporary challenges, economic challenges, political challenges, foreign policy challenges. Um, and I hope, you know, some people will want to go on the journey with me. But other than that, I'll be doing a bit more research and writing, I hope, but I'll also be helping Vinicius with, with, with the Institute. You know, I have to call him uh, general now. He's my, he's my commanding officer. Um, but and in some in some ways, um, you know, and Vinicius is very well prepared for this position. He knows more about the Institute than than anybody. You know, he always knew as much as I did, if not more. And so he's more than ready. At, but I you know, want to help him uh, with with whatever goals that he's going to be pursuing, as well as doing the teaching and supervision and writing that, that I've always done. Great. But we'll be looking out for your book. Um, Vinicius, uh, turning to the future, it's obviously early days, but you clearly believe that the Brazil Institute has an important role to play at King's and within the academic and political community. Could you expand more on this? Um, well, yes, absolutely. I, I truly believe that. And uh, the, the motivation that I had to join Brazil Institute was exactly because the Institute was already a consolidated institution for a study with Brazil and uh, together with Brazilians and about Brazil. So for me, uh, when I joined the Institute six years ago, uh, was really uh, a big achievement in my career because I saw that I could develop much more as a Brazilianist, as someone who is looking at Brazil uh, in details. Um, Anthony said something that's quite important for us, this idea of bridge. You know, we always talked about Brazil Institute being a bridge between Brazil and the UK, Brazil, between kings and Brazil. Um, and I think the, build, the, the bridge is there already well built. Now we just need, and that's my role, to assure that people will continue to cross this bridge, that this bridge will be continu uh, continuously being used um, and, being, and being treated as a, as a platform that we can promote both Brazil and UK and UK in Brazil. Uh, and then we can also continue to be uh, an important element or an important institution to, to make sure that uh, Brazil will be part of UK, Brazil will be part of King's. We have a huge community of, of people working in research projects, uh, working in, in um, teaching about topics of Brazil at King's already. So I think the, to, be, to look at the future of the Institute now, it's to assure that this constellation of knowledge that King's is producing and has been historically produced uh, about Brazil will continue uh, in the same good level that Anthony had set until now for me, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you've touched on a little bit um, now, but as we plan for the coming year, what are some of the things that we can look forward to from the Brazil Institute? Yes. 
So um, I think there are some key words that we should keep in mind looking at this future. Those words are not, or these concepts are not only from Brazilian Institute, but I think it's something that Kings is quite aware of. One of the important points that I should highlight that I will be working more closely is with the idea of decolonizing curricula. I think Brazil, uh, the scope of Brazilian studies has a lot to contribute to this debate in a, in a more larger uh, perspective as we are doing in Kings now. I also think that um, inclusion is a very important element here. Anton mentioned how important the Institute was to help Brazilians to come to UK, to come to Europe and to promote their knowledge here, to promote their research here. I think that's an important thing to continue this, this promotion of, um, of what's being produced academically in Brazil, in UK. Uh, this inclusivity is very important. There is another element that we are seeing in the world today and Kings again is quite aware of. Um, is the topic of uh, Black, Lives, uh, Black Lives Matter. Uh, so um, this is a very pressing issue in Brazil too, and I think we should bring this debate more constantly and more consistently to, to Brazil Institute. And I will be trying to drive more attention to, to this topic and discussing that between Brazil and UK again. Another important issue is the environmental one. Oh, Brazil is facing in the last years um, uh, serious, serious um, deforestation risks, uh, rates, sorry, um, the Amazonian region, what is a quite care region for me personally, I've been many times there with students from, from the Institute and from King's, um, Amazonia will continue to be one of our focus, this environmental discussion, and together with that, also what's quite, quite relevant for the case of Brazil, is this indigenous knowledge. Uh, we have a fantastic a community, a plural community of indigenous people in Brazil. Um, Anthony mentioned that we have already opened the doors of the Institute for them in the past. I want to make sure that this presence will be continuously uh, more intense. And this, this sharing of knowledge from different epistemologies from indigenous communities will find a place uh, inside Brazil Institute. So those topics that are apparently so Brazilian, actually they are global as we can see. And that's, I think, this important element to keep in mind here. Brazil Institute is a focal point for Brazil in Kings, in UK, in Europe, but is also not only looking at Brazil, but from Brazilian perspective to global issues. We will be reinforcing and doing what we have done for quite well for a long time uh, in teaching, especially contributing to the Master in Global Studies uh, at the School of Global Affairs. Uh, we will be preparing research projects involving those topics that I mentioned to you here. Uh, we will be also developing good partnerships with Brazilian institutions and also with external partners that has been um, an important element of Brazil Institute too. So it's this, this element of producing inside things, producing inside the Institute, a deep, good, solid knowledge research and teaching about topics of Brazil and with Brazil and promoting the, uh, this to an outside audience also. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like there's a lot to look forward to. Um, thank you both for joining us today. We recognize the important role that the Brazil Institute plays and we really do hope for its continued success. Thank you. And I would like to thanks a lot, Anthony Pereira, for the, the high and uh, fantastic work that he has done uh, in establishing and building Brazil Institute and making Brazil Institute um, what it is today. And I just want to tell that's a very, very difficult challenge, a very, um, um, yeah, it, it will be a hard, uh, a hard time in the sense of hard work is expecting, but knowing that we have good partners, that we have good cohort of students in the master and PhD level, and also great team um, with staff members, both uh, administrative staff and also faculty that work and collaborate we can we can keep this this tradition of Brazil Institute as a high level institution uh, for Brazilian studies as Anthony had established already. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you. Here's my here's my elbow bump. Uh, <laughs> the start of your directorship. Thank uh, you. We really want to play Vinicius. I'll be behind you all the way.